What's up guys, in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how I made my very own art piece mirror. You guys could totally modify this to be whatever you want. I'm just gonna show you the process of how this went down. Before we get into this video, I figured I'll just explain this piece really quick, just so you guys know what you're watching. Art to me is very metaphorical, it's symbolic. We get addicted to this idea of what someone else has of us. We play into that role, we'll buy things, we'll look a certain way just to be in that role. We start to obsess over a vision that someone has of us. The, the capsules and the pills on this piece represent being addicted, and the mirror is a reflection of ourselves. So being addicted to ourselves, which is why I put narcissists. We're not necessarily addicted to our true selves. We're addicted to how people perceive us or we think people want to perceive us. And so I want to make a piece about that. Yeah, here's how I made it. All right, so first up, I grabbed a 14 inch mirror. I got this from Michaels. I grabbed the dry erase marker because this is going to help us draw our design for the slime. And of course, I had to get some capsules. Now, I waited two months to get these. I got them on Amazon. They're empty. They're just these gelatin capsules. I don't know what they're actually used for if you make your own vitamins or something, but I waited two months to get this. So this has been in the works for quite some time. This is 200, so there's 50 in each pack. Now, just to show you what happens with these, if they get in contact with hot water, they will dissolve just like this. But luckily today we are using just glue and resin, so that won't actually have an effect. All right, so I grabbed my mirror and then I used some painter's tape to actually protect a certain area of where I'm gonna put my wording. I wanted to make sure that nothing covers this by accident. I don't wanna put slime over this. This is just basically like an indicator of where I need to protect and not cover it all. So we will be removing that after. I grabbed my dry erase marker and I started drawing out the slime. Now you guys are gonna see here, I decided to keep most of it in. I want to show you that art is about trial and error. A lot of this stuff isn't just a one-time perfection thing. I did this multiple times. I just couldn't find one that I was actually really happy with. But the thing is, if you keep doing it, eventually you'll figure something out. And I came to this one right here. And uh, yeah, I was really happy with how this one looked. Next, I grabbed a square silicone, actually resin mold. We're not actually using this for resin. We're just using this as like a mixing bowl. We're going to pour all of our capsules in here. Um, and then we're just going to mix them all together. And you want to mix these up because I want them to look like they've been randomly placed on this mirror. I don't want it to be like a chunk of red, a chunk of blue. So you guys can shake it or what I found most effective was to mix it with your hand. Next, we're going to use some liquid glue. I bought this for a different DIY, but I didn't end up using it. But this one has two tips. It's got like a fine point tip for detailed work. And then the other end is a broad tip. So we're going to be using this today. It's just it's going to spread more glue out and you could use it to brush it on sort of thing. I'm just going to toss on some gloves here and make sure I snap it. Boom, just so I know it's official. And then we're going to take the broad end of our glue and just slowly start to spread it on. Now, for this technique, I decided to pour on the capsules and whatever sticks will stay. Everything else I'll brush off and reuse. This, again, is just going to help with the randomness of the appearance. And then just repeat the process over and over again. This is probably about, I don't know, maybe an hour-long process. Figure it out. Make sure nothing goes over the mirror. Make sure nothing leaves the green lines where your slime is. And just keep repeating. And that's what we've got so far. And then we're just going to continue. Now, to make sure the slime effect is still there, do not leave the green lines. It's important if you want to make it look like it's slimed on. You're going to have to tilt, modify, switch around, maybe cut in half some of these capsules just so you can actually get the rounded effect of the slime. Once I got all my capsules down, I took a cotton swab and I just went in and I erased all of the dry erase marker because uh, next we're going to be working with resin and I don't want this to get locked in and have a color of green in there. So now it's time for the UV resin. I've used this in a few different videos. It's great. It's fast curing. It's expensive and there's not a lot of it. This stuff will only cure under a UV black light. So I just went in and I just filled in every single major crack or hole. I also sort of drizzled it on top of the pills just to keep them all connected as one. This is the most tedious part of the entire thing, guys. Do not rush this. This is what's going to keep them connected to the mirror, but also connected to themselves. It's important you leave the black light for a minimum of like a minute to two minutes for each spot. Now, as you can tell, this is the longest part of the entire DIY. This is probably about an hour, two hour process. Don't rush it, guys. If you have patience, uh, this is going to turn out great. And a lot of these art pieces that I'm showing you require a lot of patience. And boom, just like that, we've got the first level of this DIY done. We've got our capsules down. We've got the slime effect going. Now it's time to do our, uh, our text. 
We're heading into Photoshop. This is where I design everything. We're going to put down a 14-inch circle, and this is going to represent our mirror. And then I'm just going to write out narcissist in the font that I like. The issue here is I don't know if I like that. <laughs> and this is the beauty about art, guys, is what I'm trying to tell you is, you know, it's not always going to work out the first time. You got to try things, and you'll be amazed at where it sort of leads you. I put it in the center and I made it sort of a dictionary style. I put narcissist and then sort of the pronunciation and then noun. We're going to save that as a PNG. Just the font is a PNG because we're using our Cricut. We're hopping into Cricut design space and this is going to help us cut out the stencil perfectly. But it's important we know what size we're doing. So we're going to go back with our Cricut cutting mat and measure out the tape that we put down. So this is five inches. So I know that that's the size that we had to cut out on the Cricut. This is the machine. Oh my God, I love this machine. Guys, if you do DIYs, I highly suggest getting a Cricut. It is the best. It's just such a beast. I'm heading into my art room and I actually have a piece of premium vinyl. It is not glossy, which is what we want. I'm gonna place that down on our mat and we're gonna load it into the Cricut machine. We're gonna head back over to the design space and we're gonna measure it out for five inches, which is just like that. We're gonna set this up to be cut. We're going to hit cut, and then we're going to let the machine do its thing. For those of you guys that don't know what this machine is, it's a Cricut. It's got a blade. You can also put a pen in, and it'll draw things perfectly for you. You can make custom cards. I use it a lot for making my own stencils and stickers. Next, we're going to just cut out only what we've used, and we're going to save the rest for another project. And we're going to slowly peel back the vinyl and leave only what we've actually cut down. You'll notice that the A and the R actually don't have their center pieces. So you're going to go back in and weed those out just with the tip of a knife. Next, it's time for the transfer tape. And luckily, I have some saved over from another DIY. It's just basically just a giant piece of scotch tape. You're going to lay it down on your cutout stencil or sticker. Use a card to flatten it so it's fully stuck to the tape. And then again, patience. Pull it back slowly and boom you'll have your now custom sticker, which we're ready to put on our mirror. Now, just to make sure that I got the center, again, I want this to be sort of a perfect-ish piece. I'm measuring out the seven inches mark because that will be the center from both vertically and horizontally. And somewhere in that area is the center. And we're going to slowly place down our now definition for narcissist. Peel it off slowly and boom. Oh, it worked out so great. I love it. It's exactly what I envisioned in my head. I'm really happy with it. And there you guys have it. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure that you're subscribing to my channel and giving this a thumbs up. That way you'll know when I have a video coming up. Thank you so much for watching. If this piece resonated with you, I would love to hear it. Please comment down below or you can message me on Instagram or even comment on the picture on Instagram. And to leave you with one thing, don't get obsessed over how people see you or how you think you need to be. Be who you are. Show every side of you and don't just think that you're only worth one side of you. It'll get old and it'll drive you down these paths of unfulfillment and constantly seeking validation from other people. If you guys want to see other photos of this, head over to my Instagram, at Danocracy. You can actually see some of my other art as well. Thanks so much for watching, guys. See you in my next video. Later.